I want to make a work that would shock the viewer, terrify my mother, and then even shock myself. You want to take a picture with me? Nope. For posterity? Come on, nope. come on. You're disgusting. <laughs> this vision of myself as this post-coital, post-bondage, post-cum shot tranny with like really bad makeup, an electrical cord around my neck, and a pink wig. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be shocking Ryan. <laughs> Good luck shocking Ryan about anything. <laughs> What's going on, Tom? Decapitating my thumb. Oh. A phobia of mine is losing a limb or having a limb severed or amputation. Maybe when I was a little kid, my dad was like, you can cut your fingers off if you get too close to the handsaw. This is so awesome. Ew. <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to use my thumb as a vessel for excess material like hair, fingernails, spit, blood. It's not like just an image. There's a soul behind it. They're really gross. They look like little kid dicks or something weird. Yeah. The first shocking moment that I ever had was getting an erection to a Disney film. I had no clue what was going on. I had to ask my mom what was happening with my body. Little Mermaid. It was when Ursula turned into that mega babe. She's a good looking woman. Ooh, I am tired of buttholes, titties, and penises. The thing that I'm doing is just creating a really simple contour line drawing composed of the iconic shape of Mickey Mouse's head and the spaces are gonna be filled in with this tumorous mass of misshapen genitals and buttholes and nipples. For once, I don't think that Miles' piece will be in the top three. It doesn't immediately draw me over to it. Looking around the room, I think that some pieces are not horrible, but not shocking. I actually feel like my work is the most shocking piece. I think you like dressing up like a drag queen a little too much. I, like, I really like this. <laughs> no, but you're really cracking up at your picture. It's pretty intense. Ryan's piece, it's just a little... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like I have cum all over my face, though. That's a problem. So what are you doing, John? I'm doing a guy um, sucking himself off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we could do that, none of us would leave the house. I'm telling you right now. I start off this drawing that I think is going to be about these twins. And it's like really dark. But it became really illustrative and too cheesy. And then I stepped back and I realized they weren't Siamese twins anymore, that they were fashion models. And then I thought it would be really funny to do a drawing that dealt with like herpes for Chanel or like crack whore for Dior, syphilis for Prada. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize that's what you were doing. It's like my self-aware whoreness. I'm not a whore. <laughs> I'm actually quite prude, to be honest. With Jackie, it's this really interesting contradiction. Her work is the sort of feminist stance, while at the same time, she's doing this piece which is dealing with her own body and with the male gaze. That one's gonna say, like, for your eyes only or something. She both, like, hates the fact that there is the male gaze, but at the same time, she's obsessed with it. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> There's nothing going on. You're supposed to be a little boy. Brian, why are you spurning me? Bring the bottoms of your feet down here. I put Ryan and Jackie in the bed to use their feet as the priest and the little boy, mainly because Ryan's got big feet and Jackie has the littlest feet. Yeah. You know, we're doing this picture that's supposed to be so shocking and subject matter and so taboo, but and we're just giggling and having a good time. Is it good for you? I think I'm good. I don't know if they were uncomfortable. I think I was a little bit uncomfortable. Oh my god. I'm comfy little spoon. I'm comfy. <laughs> Hopefully I won't like pop an eyeball out doing this or something. Although I guess that would be shocking. <laughs> I pretty much have been freaking out all day because I'm not sure where the work is gonna settle. But I know that I wanna create a housing for my character. I don't know, I was gonna just try to like slide it in and then prop it up and throw a bead of glue on both sides. Okay. I'm thinking about the structure as a kind of primitive space, something that was designed almost by an insect or an animal. I don't understand what you're doing. I don't, I'm not sure. <gasps> <laughs> Neo is putting her heart and soul into something, but I don't know what it is. I'll call you when I when I need more help. But she's very driven and very strange. It's like it's out of control. Hello, everyone. Yay! 
It was so, so wonderful to have you all at my place this morning. And I hope that you've all enjoyed meeting Andres Serrano. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm here for my studio visit. I think I will start maybe with Jacqueline. Uh, what can you tell me about your work here? I wanted to take low resolution camera pictures and elevate it by presenting it in a context of like high art. First of all, I, 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 I think they're gorgeous to look at and uh, oh. <laughs> they certainly give you uh, a rush of blood, uh, to put it mildly. <laughs> this being said, I am not totally sure whether I see the truly provocative side of it. Well, I was also thinking of like maybe adding text that you would see like from these uh, cell phone texts and putting it on as well, but maybe not. I think it might be worth your while to still experiment, but at the same time, uh, I'm just trying to think how the judges might react, so... Um... No, but I would really love a critique with Andre Serrano, so I want to push harder. Well, you have two ways to get a critique. To I don't be... want to be on the bottom. <laughs> If the judges don't like this piece, it would really make me question if I am going in the right direction as an artist. Oh. Coming up on Work of Art. Artist, I have some news that may come a bit of a shock to you. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Jamie Lynn. So tell me, how do you view this work as being really provocative? Uh, I'm doing kind of a comical modern day rendition of The Last Supper. Christ is in the middle of this catty dinner party. There are Victoria's Secret angels and drunk girls, but in the middle of all that, they all have weapons and they're about to either shoot him or hang him or do all of these sorts of things. Well, uh, I think at first hand, uh, it looks like a very pleasant illustration. Right, and, uh, right. I personally don't find it shocking at all. It may not be shocking to a lot of people. However, I'm commenting on the frustration that I feel being a Christian today about what mankind has done to damage Christ's message. It's just so far removed from what Christianity is supposed to exhibit. That is shocking to me. Uh, you better find a really good message to bring across so that if you can't provoke through your work that you can really give a punchy message to right. the judges. I will do my best. Thank you, Jamie Lynn. Thank you. Congratulations for winning the challenge last week. That Thank was, you very uh, much. Well done. So tell me about your current work. <laughs> I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I guess the subject matter is self-explanatory. I do know someone who can do this. Yes. And, well, it's kind of ruined him. He's very antisocial. You mean he does this uh, all day long and... Uh... Well, I don't know if he does it all day long, but it's definitely something that he does. I see that the style that you're using is one of uh, children's book illustrations. I just wanted something to really pop out in the gallery. This will be cut and then mounted on this canvas. I think Simone is kind of speechless. I think Otto Fellatio kind of scares him. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me what you're up to. Well, um, I'm not even sure myself. I'm in the process of sort of going into outer space and coming back with some information. It's gonna be pretty wacky. Because this stage, I must admit, I don't understand yet right. what you're trying to do, so... Yeah. I could take you over to the basic structure and let you see what I am up to. Okay, I would love to see. I'm hearing what Simone is saying to Neo, and I think he's completely confused as to what Neo is trying to do. I think everyone is. Okay, so here it is. Oh my God, this looks like a very ambitious project. <laughs> yes. So my two positions will be either sitting inside, mm -hmm or mingling with the crowd. So it's not going to be a very theatrical performance. It's very difficult to give you any advice because whatever you're doing now is so diametrically opposed from what will come out yes. tomorrow. I know. Hopefully um, I'll be able to catch up with my process in studios. Sure. That'll make more sense eventually. <laughs> Again, but since you are a performance artist, I trust that you will be able to surprise us and provoke us with your performance. Hopefully. For me, the art is a kind of discovery process. Thank Good to you. see you. I am not sure exactly how I am putting it together, but I do feel something has to work. It has to come together somehow. Artist, you have a little less than three hours left tonight. Before I go, 
I should mention to you that the winner of this challenge will get immunity. And I have some news that may come a bit of a shock to you. Two of you will be eliminated tomorrow night. Wow. Oh, my God. oh no. So you better get your act together. Oh my God. <laughs> See you at the opening. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Bye. Good night. I better go take a dump on my picture. Something slightly more shocking. As confident as I am, there's still that holy shit factor. Someone doesn't think they're shocking enough. Why don't you have all of us, when you're not looking, write the most obscene, rude shit on That's a good idea. What better way can you shock people than to put yourself in a vulnerable situation? Awesome. Let's do it.